Hi, welcome back. So we are working on a Linux L series package unit today and the customer complained the AC is not working properly. So let's have a look. First open up the main electrical panel and I can see some LEDs are blinking on the control board. That means we have proper low voltage. Okay, so we can test this unit uh, through the control board. That means we do not have to jump it out through the thermostat wires. And so we're gonna test it on the full AC mode. Okay, so here these dip switches, if you can see those one, the first one mentioned here unit test so we have to put first shift and on to the unit test and then we can uh, press that black terminal and we'll go from here so shift test and now press this black one C C10 C11 and now long press Both compressors started So this is the full AC testing mode Let's check the condenser fan Let's check the capacitor. We got a swollen capacitor, the first one. I think uh, the, the second one, which is running fine, that's the lower capacitor. So we're gonna just swap the capacitor and test it again. Everything is stopped so we're gonna just uh, swap out that capacitor so since we are here we're gonna I think the second one is okay so we're gonna just swap out the first one okay I have turned off the power since we are working on the electrical side so always make sure even if uh, the disconnect is off the power there is no power so between phase to phase and every phase to ground so L1 and L3, zero, L1 and L2, zero, and L2 and L3, zero, and every phase to ground, oh, it's a little bit harder for me with one hand, okay, like this. Zero, zero, that's the last one. Single hand holding a phone and okay, zero. So we are good. Now look at the capacitor, completely gone, got a new capacitor, 10 microfarad, okay new capacitor back in, wire properly connected, it is always recommended to take the picture before disconnecting any electrical device so, okay let's turn on the power and test it again. sequence here less okay so it's not wide now shift 
board unit test C1 press C10 and C11 is the full it's testing and press long Okay, so this condenser fan motor wasn't working so I have removed the main input power plug and we're gonna test the winding of that motor okay so first place the multimeter into continuity and here terminal 1 and terminal 2 okay we have power we have continuity here okay so nothing in between one and two terminals so between one and three we have continuity oh, it's too hard for me well, i have to remove the okay so i have tested all three terminals uh, between one to two two to three and all they are showing continuity and also tested every terminal to ground because if that would be in onto the ground so somebody sh should have blown like a fuse or something or tripped the breaker so it's not short let's put it back Okay, let's test it again. Mood, unit test, shift. Okay, let's see one, C10, C11. Still not working. Okay, so our number one fan. I don't know if you can see. Uh, yeah, this one. So K10 is the relay for the number one fan, which wasn't working. So we have to dig into a little bit deeper so let's uh, verify as uh, so we already have verified the fan motor windings are good so it's not getting the voltage so and if you can see on the relay red and black wire so the power in comes into the red and when the relay is energized it goes to the black and where the black is connected to the fan motor so if we bypass that uh, black wire to the upper terminal so if we connect it to the upper terminal so it will get bypassed so our fan motor should start or should get proper voltage incoming voltage so let's do that of course the power is off so okay so now this has been bypassed so i have switched that black wire terminal lower to upper so let's start on the power and test it again okay so our fan motor is running because it has been bypassed and 
getting proper voltage so now we know something is going on with the incoming voltage to relay means 24 volt so we have to follow the schematic let's start off the power first and then we will follow the schematic So this is the Linux wiring diagram, this is the low voltage, okay let's follow the schematic here, uh, okay so this is the high voltage circuit, this is the low voltage circuit here and we have to follow the circuit number one. And on the relay it says K10 for fan number one and here if we check the list here B4 B4 and 5 are uh, fan motor B4 and 5 these are the fan motor circuit I want to side always going and this is our K10 relay on the high side, high voltage side and on the low voltage side we already tested that on the high we bypass that wire which is connected to the motor uh, if we see the terminal number 7 and 4 we bypass that and the motor was working fine so our problem was with the relay, relay was not getting voltage so this is the K10 relay A and B it is connected to A55. What is A55? We follow. This is A55. Means the whole control panel. And in the control panel, it is connected to number six and seven somewhere in the control panel. And the six and seven, they are connected to S84 and S11. These are the pressure switches. Okay. S84 and S11 so these should be on the liquid line side because these are the condenser fan circuit and yeah here right after the dryer it says S11 so our problem with gonna be with that switch uh, S84 okay so this switch either this switch is uh, completely open even it is not uh, closing even the pressure is rising when the compressor start the pressure rises in condenser and that switch should close and complete the circuit for the fan motor i think okay so we have to test it first so we have to bypass these two terminals and the relay will get power and the fan motor should start we should uh, start okay so i have bypassed these two wire and this switch is completely isolated so this is just a temporary jumper just to test and let's turn on the power and test that's my home depot bucket power is on already on the test mode C1 C10 C11 long press Jump these two wire with the wiring nut and the unit will run properly without having an issue and after that whenever I will get that switch from the Linux I will change it. Okay so the unit is running 
both condenser fan are working fine. Okay, thank you for watching and please subscribe.